In Windows 10 Hyper-V, I'm going to show you how to use the integration services that come with Hyper-V in its virtual machine settings. So let's go ahead and go to one of the off servers, although you can do this on any one of these. And again, we're running a Windows 10 Hyper-V. Right click and choose settings. All right, now we'll go ahead and click on integration services and we can see that we have all these services checked by default. So we have operating system shutdown. That allows you to shut down the virtual machine without actually being logged into it. And that works most of the time, except with Active Directory domain controllers. Then you have time synchronization, and that synchronizes the time between the virtual machine and the host. So whatever time is on my host, it will pass that down to the virtual machine. Uh, then we have the data exchange option that allows us to copy data between the virtual machine and the host. Then we have the heartbeat, which tells the host if the virtual machine is running properly. And we have backing up of volume shadow copies. So that can give us some additional protection against any kind of data corruption by having that set up. And then we have guest services. Guest services aren't as useful as they used to be. If you check the box, you'll have the option to install the integration disk in your uh, virtual machine. So let's go ahead and, and click OK on that. And we'll do the same on our running computer. And then we'll double click on our computer and click Connect. In older versions of Windows, if you went up to the Action menu, you would see the option to insert the Integration Services setup disk. So you might still see that if you're using an older version of Hyper-V on a host. However, you no longer need to do that because all guest additions automatically get updated when the host gets updated. Before, that used to be a manual process. The host would get updated, but then you'd have to manually run this integration disk. So that's in the past. You don't need to do it anymore. As long as your Windows 10 computers are up to date as far as Windows updates goes, then you'll automatically get those integration services as well. So integration services do things for us like the ability to copy and paste from the host to the, the uh, virtual machine, as well as gives us better video options so we don't end up seeing uh, less colors or less resolution. So the integration services are really good, but now in Windows 10 Hyper-V, they are completely automated as long as Windows is up to date. So that is an overview of the integration services in Windows 10 Hyper-V.